Anna Scarry in County Wicklow this morning. It's all very festive and cheery and we can't be here and not talk about some gorgeous food. So I'm joined by the head chef of Sika restaurant, Peter Byrne. Good morning to you, Peter. Good morning. How's How it all going? Very good. Not now, bad. you are going to do something a little different. We are. We're going to stuff a turkey leg with a sausage meat stuffing and chestnuts. Okay. Um, so we'll start by making the by making the stuffing. We okay, get a great. Bit of butter. What ingredients do we need for the stuffing? So we we'll start butter? off with a little bit of butter. Okay. Some brown sugar. Really? Okay. That will just add a little bit of sweetness to the, to the stuffing. Okay. So then we we'll start cooking that. Do you need me to do anything? Then we'll add the onions and garlic. Onions and garlic. Okay. Finely chopped. Finely chopped. Okay. And then we cook that until it gets nice and soft for about three or four minutes. Okay. And that will just release the nice sweetness from the from the onion. Okay. Nice. Those flavours all work very well together, don't they? They were a marriage made in heaven. Now, are I have they? To say, they are. <laughs> so while that's cooking, in here yep, we have here, the, the here. sausage meat, chestnuts, breadcrumbs, uh, the tarragon, and the marjoram. Okay. So once that's cooked, cook down for one minute. So they all go in together. Well, once we kill this down, we'll add that in. Oh, I see, okay. And then we'll put it in a piping bag and then we'll stuff the turkey leg. Okay, great. This will show people how to do it because... Yes, please, because this, this is where the skill comes in, isn't it, yeah. Peter? You start at the top of the bone, okay. work your way down, all the way around. Okay. Because a lot of people don't know what to do with turkey legs. They just cook the whole the turkey whole and then they leave the turkey legs in the fridge for a couple of days and then throw it out. Exactly, it just goes to waste, yeah. doesn't it? I'm, so, I don't think anyone can afford to waste anything anymore, so Peter. You get, in, you get in underneath the bone. Okay. Don't be afraid to get stuck in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just okay. Get rid of that. So then you lie it out flat. Just trim off the excess. The excess. I was going to say, what do you do with all these bits and bobs? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Get trim them of off that. so it's kind of even. Yeah. And there's a lot of cartilage here, which uh, you can just trim off. Okay. There you go. But it's kind of a different take, isn't it, on, on a stuffed, stuffed turkey? It is, definitely. Maybe yeah, and for it's the beautiful. days that follow Christmas. Yeah, it is, yeah, because the stuffing, it's so fragrant, it has some uh, orange zest. So once you cook it, uh, the stuffing just perfumes the meat itself. So, Lovely. so it really okay. goes really well. All right. And so here's right. stuffing I made earlier. So, you'll just so into a piping bag. Into a piping bag. Okay. The turkey leg skin side down. Skin side down, yeah. okay. Great. Is there a knack to this? Just pipe it straight down the middle. Okay. There you go. Could anybody do this, Peter? I think so. Yeah. yeah well, you do, but you're head chef here, so <laughs> it's probably not a great indicator. <laughs> you just have to make sure. I that think it's I could give it a nice go, and though. Tight. And then roll it up. Okay, in cling film. In cling film. Just keep rolling it back. Okay, and keep it, keep it, keeping it as tight keeping as possible. Keeping it nice and tight. The chef's table, a really important part of the, the dining experience here, Peter, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It's a great interaction when you get a when you get a group of foodies sitting on the chef's table and you can have some uh, great crack. Yeah. And then I'll go up and explain each course. So it's good fun. It's a great yeah. way of uh, people seeing what's Well, I suppose you learn more about the food and where it's come from, don't you? You do, definitely, because you see, you see everything the way it's prepared from the starters to the main course and then the pastry. So it's great for everybody to yeah, see. Yeah, it's really visual. Yeah, okay. definitely. So the cling foil, we just wrap it up again, exactly okay. the same way as the as the cling film. Okay, just keep rolling. So that's it. Roll it up. Okay. And what do we do and with that, just, Peter? Just close that, and then you'll cook it at a, put it on a baking tray, cook it at 140 for approximately two hours. Two hours, two okay. Hours. So it yeah. does need a bit of cooking time. It does, definitely. Okay, but your work is done once it goes into the oven, basically. Once it goes into the oven, take it out. You can actually do it the night before, which is great. Okay. And here's one I prepared earlier. This is lovely. Yeah. So this is, so this is, is what the finished product should look like? This is the finished like. product. Okay. So you get the nice meat around the edge, stuffing in the middle, and, and you can see the nice chestnuts. Lovely. Gorgeous. So we just slice okay. it up. And you just slice it up and it's ready to be served with your lovely colourful veg. Yeah, we have a nice platter there, roast turkey breast, the uh, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli and some organic baby potatoes. Lovely. Will this be on the menu in Sika restaurant Seeker over Christmas? Sika restaurant on Christmas Day, definitely. For really? Sure. Yeah. Look at this. This is fantastic. Any other tips for anybody at home doing Christmas dinner, maybe for the first time, Peter? Um, I'd say, well, if you're doing Brussels sprouts, it's great to cook them in a little bit of uh, onion shallots. Uh, garlic, smoked bacon, duck fat, and the Brussels sprouts. Okay, yeah. and all of those Beautiful. things we can pick up in our local supermarket. Definitely. Brilliant. For Peter, sure. thank you very much. Brilliant. Happy Christmas. Thanks very much. You thank too. Thank you. Now no we'll go problem. back to studio.